The eruption which is started in the Schwarzenegger volcanic system and is the fourth eruption in that series is now becoming very interesting in the sense that it has already approached two roads in the north and the south. The north road is closed and the south road is closed but is not touched by the lava. If the speed of the lava continues the way as it is, in 20 hours it will reach that road and in two days it will reach also the sea. And such a thing is not uncommon in that area. The whole peninsula, which is to the east of the Grindavik town, is actually a lava field. The area that is marked also around the road is a lava field. There were practically in the past eruptions which reached that area. If the water is in contact, seawater in contact with the lava, if we react with it, uh, the salt from the seawater, which has a chlorine in it, will form hydrochloric acid, which is uh, soluble in the water and make the water acidic. Also, it can evaporate, form gas, a cloud, which with 500 meters around it can be life-threatening. Of course, in the long run, this cannot be a big issue simply because we have such a thing already in the mid-oceanic regions, similar to what we have in Iceland in this area, at the ocean. And there are ecosystems of life forming around this, uh, you know, contact zone between the magma and lava and the seawater. The lava itself, when it's in contact with the seawater, may quench, become solidified, suddenly cools down and solidifies, will shatter, and through the steam, will be carried to the air in explosive way. When the steam expands, it creates explosion. So what will happen is that we will have a phreatic reaction and the ash fall in the surrounding area. This ash is practically made of glass. That is what the lava is made of. Lava practically is a mixture of the glass, silicate as we call it, and the other minerals that are not silicate. Of course, this is one scenario. The lava may not reach the sea. It's decreasing. The eruption is already decreasing. So we have to wait and see. Until then, uh, it's better to watch this video that I have about the Cambria Vieja volcano when the lava reached the sea. Apocalyptic views of lava flow from the Cambria Vieja volcano. Now two months has passed. Volcano has not stopped. It's coming directly from the core mantle boundary like a welding torch made a hole in the uh, Atlantic Ocean and created the La Palma originally, now is adding to the land mass of the island. But the lava is flowing down the hills, going toward the ocean. This is the flow that nothing can stop it. I will show you a map that shows how it uh, moves toward the uh, sea, where, where it has covered actually. When it reaches the sea, it just looks like Jurassic Park. Things are falling down, rolling down. The seawater waves are coming toward the uh, headland created by these lava flows. Any moment you may see a dinosaur coming out of there or a King Kong. And that is how it looks. This is a 3D model we have created and it shows the lava flow where it ended up on the sea. The older ones you can see that they are created layered lava as cliffs that we see. It's an apocalyptic view. It's a very strange phenomenon.